So this video is about how to install um, Composer. So let's Google it. Click on Git Composer. Click Downloads and read the instructions here. And copy this text and paste it in your command line or your terminal. Now type php composer.far, it should work. But now, uh, this is just installed in your local folder. So, if we go to desktop, we can test it out. Let's type the command line. And it should not work. Okay, that's because your PHP Composer is not installed globally, so we need to install it globally. Let's go back to where the Composer was installed. And let's follow the instruction in getting started. And to move it globally, let's move it using this command line. So it's moving your composite that far into the bin directory. If you have another bin directory, they move it there. And now it's gone. So if we type compose it at far, it should now work anywhere in our command line. There you go. It's now working. So now that the composer is installed. Let's go back to our Drupal and type Composer. Let's check if it's working. And there you have it. Composer is installed. Uh, for those who are asking what is a Composer, it's actually like um, if you play with, uh, with Node.js, it acts the same thing like uh, Node Package Manager. So instead of you downloading your code manually, you can use this Node Package Manager to uh, download these modules right here. Okay, and in Drupal, the modules I believe is in you know, Composer.json. Okay, and if you type Composer that install, if you delete this folder. So let's delete this folder for now. You can see it in action. Okay. And if you type composer install, it should reinstall everything. So what it's doing, it's reading these instructions and installing whatever um, the requirements here, module requirements, instead of you, you know, loading them one by one. Um, you have Composer to just do it for you. There you go. You see this? It creates the vendor of directory.
and that's it that is that is it for a composer